every day of the week I'm playing hockey. I'm playing for the NTU Hockey Club and also for Beeston Hockey Club. So it's like all the time playing hockey, it's what I enjoy most in this life. Erasmus project, it's like for all the students on the European Union to uh, go to study abroad. Here I'm studying food science and technology. It's the same degree that, that I'm studying there in Spain. So the STIC project, the students who are studying at university or in higher education at the minute, the challenges are difficult enough if you're balancing your studies, but add on top of that if you're a high-performing athlete, especially one who's playing in the premier division of their sport. What the, the STIC project is there to do is to build into the Erasmus framework a way to make it easier for them to study and balance their sporting careers as well. It's probably twofold with my head of hockey hat on. It's an opportunity for us to attract some of the best hockey players from around Europe, coupled with the fact that we have an excellent university from an academic perspective. It just seemed natural that we could bring those two together from a sporting perspective. His knowledge and expertise is um, second to none. He's represented Spain. He plays with Athletic Terrassa, one of the top clubs in Europe. Both his take on tactics, his team culture, all of a sudden is providing our students with an opportunity to learn from him and also hopefully in return expand his knowledge. I think it goes a lot further than just on a hockey pitch. I have learned English because from the first day I don't, I don't wanted to, to communicate with the other because I was so shy but now it's like I'm not that fluent in English but it's like that it's more easy for me to speak English. I have learned to grow as a person and also mature. It's like I'm living alone. I have to do all the things for myself. In the past, a lot of high-performing hockey players wouldn't leave their home club, whether that be in Amsterdam or Barcelona or Nottingham, because they were probably afraid that the place they would go to wouldn't be able to meet their needs from a sporting perspective. And I think the STIC project is trying to show that if we can ensure that the student is comfortable moving to a, either a similar or higher level environment from a sporting viewpoint, and also maintain their high level of academics, then actually there's more chance of people engaging in the Erasmus programme. Working with Oriel, we've seen that it's possible for a student who's trying to balance their studies in one country, moving over to another, but also at the same time manage to balance their sporting careers as well. And we know that on completion of the pilot project that we have made it possible for any number of these students who need to balance this same dilemma to be able to move between countries, to have the same exchange programme experience, which is normally part of the Erasmus programme. The challenge has been over the course of the project, how do you marry up the differences between the universities, their courses and their hockey clubs? And how do you almost adopt a common framework for them to be involved with each other? That's taken a long time, but that's what we've learned. We've learned how to turn a complex problem like this and actually put it into something which is going to work for our members. And I will recommend them to come here in the United Kingdom. I will tell them to not be afraid about the language or about being alone or something like that because everyone here is so open, everyone here is so friendly. I'm enjoying my, my stay here a lot and I will be so sad when I will have, when I will have to leave. <laughs>